Hello everyone, Mighty Mr. Morsky here. Welcome back to the channel. I want to start off, I apologize if my voice sounds a bit off. For the past few days I've had a cold. It's, uh, well, yeah, right now it's, uh, it's only three days into October. So it's coming up to the cold season here in the UK. So, there we have it. Um, I think mine is fortunately on the way out. So, that's always, that's always the silver lining, if you will. Um, but what, what's going to be for this video? Well, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that have been released um, over the past week or so, or the past couple of weeks. I'm getting reflections off my glasses. I only I was only wearing them because right now I've only I've practically only just woken up and I was watching TV. Well, watching YouTube on my TV, um, and seeing uh, a video about. Top 10 the Savage Celebrity Roasters from WatchMojo.com and uh, just rolling my eyes at Amy Schumer because oh, she is irritating. Really irritating. Um, by the way, if you remember um, in my Welcome to the Channel video, the very first one I did, um, I said I had a Star Wars poster. There it is. Um, and yeah, right now I'm sat on my bed. Because it's Monday morning, I'm not at work or anything, I'm not at college uh, until tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, got my buddy Captain America here. Got my little Spidey right here as well, Hulk. Yes, I have a Jar Jar Binks. I'm one of the few people in the world that actually likes Jar Jar Binks. Just deal with it. Um, so, anyway, what we're going to talk about. So, first up, I want to talk about Jurassic World 2. Now, since I was a kid, I've been a fan of Jurassic Park. It's dinosaurs, you know, what kid wouldn't love it? You know, everyone knows of or likes dinosaurs, interested by them. The idea of these animals that were bigger than us, that lived on our same planet. So where, we, where I am right now, millions of years ago, a dinosaur could have walked right through here. Um, granted, it wouldn't have been anything like a T-Rex. Um, in the UK, we didn't get anything like a T-Rex. We got relatives, but we didn't get a T-Rex. Um, and then, obviously, Lost World came out, Jurassic Park 3. 3 was a bit of a letdown. Uh, it was a bit too brief compared to the other two. And the Spinosaurus beating the T-Rex. I'm sorry, but no. With a dinosaur-like T-Rex that has a bite force that can literally crush bone. I mean, there was a fossil found years ago by a guy it's a section of a triceratops it's the bit that's at the base of the tail right next to the hips that's supposed to be the toughest part of that dinosaur and there were t-rex teeth marks all over it if you've got an animal that can break the bone of one of the of a tough section on a dinosaur then you don't stand a chance that first bite this t-rex landed on the spinosaur should have killed it but that's what you get when you have Jack Horner as your dinosaur expert. He's incredibly biased towards T-Rex. Um, and then, of course, there was rumors circulating for years and years and years about Jurassic Park 4. A um, lot of people saying, oh, it'll be Jurassic Park, the extinction, where they finally get rid of the dinosaurs, uh, which would have been tricky to kind of stretch out. It would have been a bit, it would have been a lot more brief because it's literally just flying to the island, drop a bomb. Dinosaur's gone. Um, and then finally, I think it was about 2014, maybe 13, something like that, we got news it would be Jurassic World. And uh, then that came out and it was amazing. It was really good. Yes, there could have been more CG. There could have been not. Bleh. Yes, there could have been more animatronic dinosaurs. We all would have loved it. Um, but I think one of the best scenes was the dying Apatosaurus. And that was enhanced with CGI. You know, the dinosaur only had um, a certain section of its neck. The rest of it was CGI. And the best of it, the operators were actually led underneath the camera. As it passed over, they got up and started operating the dinosaur. Uh, but with any luck, we'll get more animatronics. In fact, uh, that's one of the things uh, that I wanted to come across. Uh, so anyway, now that Jurassic World's come out, it became one of the highest grossing films of last year. We're getting a sequel. I'm not entirely sure when we're getting the sequel. I can't remember. Um, I think it's either next year or 2018. Something like that. Uh, but we found out that the budget 
for Jurassic World 2 would be $260 million. And I think I saw something somewhere, I found this out through Instagram, that the budget for Jurassic World was actually bigger than the previous three Jurassic Parks. Not combined, because combined those three trump uh, Jurassic World. Uh, but it had the... It had the biggest budget out of the Jurassic films, so I think Jurassic World 2 has beaten that. $260 million, that's a lot. Um, and of course we're getting a different director, it's not going to be uh, Colin Druff... That's going to be quite a common sight for me to go with it, uh, because, as I said, it's early and uh, I just... <laughs> still sluggish it's just you know it's mondays we all hate mondays um and i'm not even going it well i say i'm not going anywhere i am going somewhere um again you're hearing tapping it's just me uh bringing up information about jurassic world 2 on uh wikipedia uh instantly it takes me down to it and that we will be getting a sixth film because we're getting a trilogy we're getting a new trilogy of jurassic films um, who are we? Uh, <laughs> it's not very helpful. I think it's this uh, Juan Antonio Bayona, I think is the director's name. Yes, it is. He's going to be directing Jurassic World 2. Um, and does it say when that will be released? No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say when it will be released, but with any luck, it will be within the next year or two. With any luck. That's me just speculating. Um, so, something else they said was that it would have things you won't expect. My mind has gone blank, because really, I don't know what to expect from dinosaurs. Um, you know, I had no idea what kind of things we were going to see the Indominus Rex do in, uh, in Jurassic World. Maybe the Indominus will return. You know, she did, and they did say the Indominus had cuttlefish DNA in its, like, uh, in its DNA, yeah, in its makeup. Uh, so maybe it managed to fight off the Mosasaurus and survive. So maybe the Indominus is going to come back. You never know. Again, this is something you might not expect. You could be sat there waiting and waiting you know that there's a dinosaur after the group and then finally when they reveal it it's a really scarred and mangled looking indominus rex um it clearly showing the scars of its fight with the mosasaurus and the t-rex uh so yeah there's all manner of things that could happen your mind goes racing thinking oh well this could happen that could happen uh, maybe we'll see more of the raptors. Well, it wouldn't be a Jurassic film without raptors, let's face it. Uh, but maybe the two raptors that survived Jurassic World will come back. Blue obviously survived. She ran off. And there's rumours that maybe a second raptor survived because we hear another roar from a raptor. That could have been Blue. We don't know. Um, Jurassic World 2 will be more suspenseful and scary Honestly, I think Jurassic World had a few suspenseful moments, like when they're hunting the Indominus and the raptors are hunting the hunters and they're just they're zipping around and you're like, well, where are they coming from? Where are they going to attack? Suddenly they attack. Um, honestly, I think, yeah, suspenseful and scary, that would be good for a Jurassic film because the first Jurassic Park was quite suspenseful, especially in that power hut um, that Dr. Sattler went in. You had a feeling that, yeah, even though there's raptors outside, Muldoon told her to run because he was he spotted a raptor. There has to be one in that hut. And you sit there the whole time thinking, oh, a raptor's going to suddenly jump out and get her. And then those came true when she said, oh, I think we're back in business. Next thing you know, out comes a raptor. Um, so suspense is quite, yeah, it's, it's good, you know, because you never know, again, you never know what a dinosaur is going to do. They're totally unpredictable. Uh, sometimes they can be predictable, but most of the time they're unpredictable. Um, but they also said it was going to be less sci-fi. 
Um, now, most people, when you say sci-fi, you think of, you know, mech suits, aliens, lasers, um, the kind of stuff you see in, like, uh, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, the upcoming Infinite Warfare, Star Wars, Doctor Who, you know, that kind of stuff. But science fiction isn't just that. It's basically, yeah, it's science, but it's been fictionalized. The idea of dinosaurs being brought back to life using frog DNA, that's science fiction. Because a lot of scientists are looking into the fact that, yeah, maybe we can bring dinosaurs back from the... Uh, maybe we can bring dinosaurs back to life, but with birds, not frogs, because birds are more closely related to dinosaurs. Um, but then fictionalizing it, saying like, oh, we can speed up the uh, aging process or stuff like that. <sighs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah. We'll just see what they do. Trevorrow did a brilliant job pulling on the nostalgia strings, but giving us new stuff for Jurassic World. I mean, I've got the, a poster that's got the map of the island right up there. So it's great. I can watch the film and I know exactly where everything is taking place. Um, or roughly. I'm not entirely sure where the original Jurassic Park um, visitor center is. It's not listed on the map, so... Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, suspenseful and scary. That would be good for a Jurassic film. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. I got two more things here. Um, well, three. I think they did say that there would be more animatronic dinosaurs, but I haven't found it. Uh, but Jurassic World 2 might take place on the five deaths. If you remember back to Lost World, um, when we're on that boat, Nick Van Owen is talking to the fishermen um, on the Malden Plata, or I think that was the name of it, but still, something like that. Um, and he's saying that they call the island uh, Las Cinco Muertes. He said Las Cinco Muertes, but because of the language, it'll be Cinco. I did Spanish, and where they are, it's very similar to Spanish. Maybe they pronounce it Cinco. I don't know. But I always pronounced it uh, Las Cinco Muertes, the five deaths, he says. Um, and the five deaths, if you know your Jurassic Park, if you know your stuff with Jurassic Park, it's the chain of islands that Isla Nublar and Isla Sauna are part of. As of Jurassic World, as of now, in 2016, we've only ever seen two of those islands. We saw Isla Nublar in uh, Jurassic Park, we saw Isla Sauna, the, uh, the east side of Isla Sauna in The Lost World, and then we saw the west side of Isla Sauna in Jurassic Park 3, and then we went back to Isla Nublar for Jurassic World. So the question is, where are we going to go if, we, if Jurassic World 2 takes place on the five deaths. Are we going to see more of those islands? You know, there's three other islands that they can visit. I don't know any of them off the top of my head. Actually, I've got Google here. Of course I'm going to Google. I'm going to Google this stuff. Um, the five deaths. Aha! They have it. Okay, so the five islands. Isla Nublar appears to be somewhere else. It's not in this chain. But Isla Sauna is. Then we've got Isla. Actually, I can't read that too well. Platy hell. <laughs> um, so Isla Nublar is somewhere else. Ah, here we go. I think. Yeah, Isla Nublar is slightly northern, northeast of uh, the Five Deaths. So, let's see. We have, going from the top down, uh, Isla Matateros, Matateros, something like that, however you pronounce it. Isla Matateros, Isla Muerta, Isla Sona, Isla Tacano, and Isla Pena. And that's the Five Deaths. Uh, Isla Nubla is 87 miles northeast of Isla Sauna, and Isla Sauna is 207 miles southwest of Golfo de Nacoyo, of Costa Rica. I apologize if I butchered that pronunciation. I did Spanish, but 
so we could be taking place on, we could be going to Isla Muerta. Uh, we could be going to um, Isla Pena. We could be going to any of those islands. And there could be more dinosaurs, more different species. That would be great to see more species of dinosaur. We got a few new species in the promo for Jurassic World, but we didn't see any of them. You know, we had Baryonyx, we had Suchomimus, we had Metriacanthosaurus. Even though Metriacanthosaurus appeared in Jurassic Park, like named on one of the uh, embryos, we, we could have seen more dinosaurs, but we didn't. Um, and I don't even know where they would be on the island. There's nothing on the map, so... I don't know. So, the five deaths. And finally, the final point I have here, Jurassic World 2 will not, I repeat, not have militarized dinosaurs. That was one thing people were terrified of. They were scared of um, militarized dinosaurs, like what Hoskins was saying. Maybe they might touch upon it, might mention it, but they won't have it. So you won't have dinosaurs with freaking miniguns on their backs. You're not going to have stuff like in Dino D-Day. So rest at ease. Um, but of course, we are getting the original, we are getting the cast from Jurassic World. No news on any of the Jurassic Park characters, but Sam Neill seems to think his character, Dr. Alan Grant, is dead. Honestly, I don't think he is. Personally, I think that Dr. Grant, he still gives his lectures about dinosaurs, but I think he's joined like a group that speaks out against Jurassic World. Because he's been chased by dinosaurs so many times, he's been nearly killed by Jurassic Park so many times, he's an avid voice against Jurassic World. It makes a bit of sense, if you think about it. Uh, nothing on Jeff Goldblum's Dr. Malcolm, so we'll have to see. Uh, Jurassic World 2, there's no news on it filming right now, although Chris Pratt might be going over to film it now. Because he's finished filming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, I believe. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, so that was all the stuff about Jurassic World 2. But what's interesting me the most is the set pictures that have been released for Spider-Man Homecoming. Now, I was one of the... <laughs> Spider-Man was one of the highlights of Captain America Civil War, without a doubt. He stole the show. Yes, his suit could have been better, but he just looked incredible. Spider-Man was awesome in Civil War. Tom Holland played him perfectly. I know there are so many people out there. There's one guy in particular in uh, Spidey Society who is adamant that Tom is not the best Spider-Man. His suit does not look comic book accurate and... Ugh, he just, thankfully he's gone silent. He hasn't spoken out for a while. So, I mean, with all the set pictures, he hasn't said a word. So that's always a good sign. Um, but Tom looks the part. Um, and the suit, they're going with the practical suit. It looks amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, Tom, he's got the agility. You know, he's got... The background in theater where in gymnastics where he's able to do the flips and tricks himself um he's young so they can use him for quite a few years um he's got the wit the humor of spider-man he can portray the awkwardness of peter parker in those 30 minutes in civil war he did a better spider-man for me than toby and andrew did in five combined films now i do like andrew and i do like toby toby did a brilliant Peter Parker. Andrew did a brilliant Spider-Man, but Tom can do both just as just as brilliantly. He is absolutely fantastic. They did a good job with casting. Um, obviously, now Asa Butterfield has said he wants to join the DC Cinematic Universe. Daniel Radcliffe has said he would have liked to play Spider-Man. No. Tom is perfect. He really is. Um, he's the Spider-Man that I've certainly been waiting for. Um, and I hope everyone else has. Sorry. Uh, sorry again. Um, but these set images of the suit look incredible. And uh, as of now, the date is October 3rd, 2016. They've officially finished filming 
Homecoming. So now we'll go into the post-production where they'll do all the CGI. They'll cut it together, uh, the music. Then we'll hopefully get a trailer at some point, maybe the end of the month. I think there was rumors circulating about that. But it's getting closer and closer to Homecoming, and I can't wait. I'm gonna. I'm hoping to go to the UK premiere because it's in London. That's about a two-hour drive from where I live. If I can't, rest assured, I will be going to the cinema, and I will be going in my new upgraded Civil War slash Homecoming Spider-Man suit. I've yet to do a video on that, but I will. Rest, rest assured, there will be a video about it because it's completely finished. Just one or two little details left to do. Um, so that's Homecoming. And finally, of course, last night during uh, Fear the Walking Dead, we had the first teaser trailer for the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales. That's a very pirate-sounding title. And it, it focused on Javier Bardem's uh, main villain. Now, I've seen Javier Bardem in Skyfall. He was the villain in that. He was brilliant. He's a brilliant actor from what I've seen. So I think he would be an... He's a good villain. I think he's a good choice for the villain for Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, so that comes out next year. No idea. I wouldn't even be able to guess when we could get a full trailer. But either way, this looks like it's going to be a good Pirates movie. The last one wasn't so good, but this one looks brilliant. This one looks like it's going to be a good movie. Um... And that's basically it. Now, now, just a couple of little things for me that I've been doing. Obviously, I've gone back to college now. Um, what else? I got the job at Frightmare. So I'm going to be working. Um, I'm on what's called the Hayride. And this year, it's a prison theme. So if you think of uh, like Escape from Alcatraz, uh, Escape Plan, Mob of the Dead from uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, um, anything prison related that's horror... That's basically what we're doing, but it's not zombies. They've said we're not doing zombies. Um, so instead, for the prison, it'll be corrupt guards that, you know, if you even breathe wrong in their direction, they get up in your face and like, do you want to go in the cell? Do you want this cell? Because you'll go there. Um, staff members who are a bit salty, you know, they used to be criminals. Now they're forced to work the prison. Um, and of course, the inmates. So we can do, I'm hoping to be a prisoner. Because I will just do all out insane. I love doing insane. You know, some people will do like, you know, really brutal. I don't know if you heard that knuckle crack, but I'll try it again. Oh! Um, but I do insane because I'm not exactly the intimidating kind. I'm not the kind that, you know, is big, bulky, tattoos everywhere kind of thing, you know, that could scare you just by looking at you. I like doing insane. Completely insane. Um, so I can... I'll try that. I'll maybe even throw in some Hannibal Lecter if you know, some fava beans and chiati. <laughs> even though I haven't seen the film. Go figure. Um, so that will be... I got rehearsals for that on the 6th. And then rehearsals on the 8th. But hopefully I won't have to do the rehearsal on the 8th. Because that's Gloucester Comic Con. Um, if I have to do the rehearsal, I'll only be at the con for a couple of hours, but luckily it's two days, so I'll be there the whole day on the 9th. The 8th is opening night, so that's where we get everyone, like friends and family, um, maybe even the press, to see what we're doing. And then it's the 14th and 15th, and then the 21st and the 31st, but the 29th, I'm going to be at Morcon in Eastgate Shopping Centre uh, in Gloucester, uh, with my own cosplay business and rest assured for Gloucester Comic Con and More Con, I will do videos for both of them. Um, I'll try and do videos for Frightmare. Because of the secrecy, I can't show you, I wouldn't be able to show you like behind the scenes, like where we appear from, uh, where we disappear into. So if I do show a video, if I do make a video, sorry, it would have to be like a tour of, you know, the attraction from the general public's point of view. So you know, this is the, uh, I don't know, the uh, the cannibal ritual thing. This is the caged human-animal hybrids. This is the prison, you know, that kind of thing. But it'll have to be, I'll have to ask the boss, Tony. Uh, we'll see what she says. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, finally today, which is the third, 
Um, I have an interview with The Works, which is like a bookshop here in Gloucester. Um, hopefully, that'll be a proper job, or it'll be just a Christmas temp. Either way, gets me some money, you know, because I don't have a job. Um, and I do also have a party on the 15th <clears throat> for a little boy. Um, I have a little character hire business. They hired me as Spider-Man to appear. I've got the de I had the deposit. I've got gifts for him because they paid extra for gifts. Um, they give us like a budget and we work with that. Um, and I'm going there in a suit. I'll have to decide which suit. I might go with Superior. I might go with uh, the upgraded Civil War. We'll just see what I do. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what's been going on for me. But let me know your thoughts on the video. You know, are you excited for Jurassic World 2? Are you excited for Spider-Man Homecoming? What do you think of Pirates of the Caribbean? Dead men tell no tales. Um, and just like what I've said about uh, about Frightmare. In fact, let's do that. Comment below. I know a few people won't, but still, it's putting the option out there for you. Leave a comment. Do you mind? Leave a comment below. Have you done any horror mazes? Have you visited any? Have you been on the staff? Have you been an actor in there? Uh, do you like horror? What's your favorite horror film? You know, anything related to Frightmare. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like rating. If you want to see more like this and more cosplay stuff, I will be doing a movie review fairly soon. Um, if you want to see more of that, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, I've been Mighty Mr. Morsky. I hope y'all have a good day.